Uh, hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and the last time we played Isaac, oh boy, did we have a magical, magical run that ended with a very satisfying delirium kill. That having been said, we still have to get to Mega Satan with Laz, but do we want to play as Lazarus or do we want to play as Eve? I'm personally saying I want to get done with Lazarus's post-it note, so <clears throat> to Mega Satan it is. Now there's more than one way to get to Mega Satan. I suppose. Just awful. Oh, so was that. Okay, great start. By the way, for those of you who don't know what the uh, what the question marks pill does, it actually just kind of makes it as though you find you had Curse of the Lost. So, not a lot of fun there, but it's okay. We'll live. I hope we will. And if we don't, it's awfully hard to fight Mega Satan. Now, Mystery Egg is a very interesting item. The more rooms we can get through without taking damage, the stronger the familiar will be when the egg finally hatches. So, oh, well, now I need bombs. Not what I meant when I said I needed bombs. You could have at least dropped a bomb. You jerks. I don't know what it is about big rooms in the early game, but for some reason they are the worst. Big rooms at other points aren't usually so bad, either because you're already prepared or because they don't they don't have like an entire third world country's population of monsters in them. Why third world country? It could be any country at that point. Well, yes, you're technically right. But again, you understand the point that I'm trying to get at here is that it's just a com it's a completely unnecessary number of monsters for early game. And you're just trying to find your footing, then all of a sudden, then all of a sudden you find a room where you got. <laughs> where you've got the entire population of Texas bearing down on you. I thought you just said it was a country. I know what I fucking said! Okay, can we really use that bomb now? Even just one bomb would be a big help. Yo, I said bomb, not heart. There is a difference, you know. Oh, okay, game is really against me right now. Not that it has any incentive to make my life super easy, but at the same time, maybe don't give me the worst bosses in the world? Oops. I thought that normally took four shots. So, my bad, but at least I got one of them off. So, as much as I normally don't like and don't want this, I'm kind of hoping for Matchbook. Because I could use the bombs, I could also use the, I could also use the Soul Heart. In this case, it would be killing two birds with one stone. But no, that's not what we're gonna get. But you know what? This still presents an opportunity if I can find a way to do some self-harm. I know that didn't sound right. It's like, no, this is good. I just need to hurt myself now. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna 
pop into the Lazarus Arisen state immediately. Beautiful movement speed and damage and luck upgrades. Hmm. Feels good, man. Alright, on to the next floor. Without a bomb, thank you very much. See, this is what I mean. Why in the world do they put so many monsters in one room? Okay, stop summoning minions. Thank you. I can live with this. Hey, I said stop summoning minions, not summon more. Oh, now they give me a bomb. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you. Alright, hold on to this, see if I can get another bomb. Really? Oh, well, I mean, if you're gonna put four fires in the middle of the room, though, I guess I can't be too upset. Distinguish them for hopefully a few extra coins. No luck this time around, but that doesn't mean that, we, that it'll never happen. Just gotta keep at it. Not bad dodging, if I do say so myself. Something good. Well, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess, but... Really, the only thing this is, this is making me excited for is the bookworm transformation. Yes, it is morning time where I am, and I just woke up. Some cheap bomb. To a club's that. Ah, thought you could escape my sight, huh? Not that it helps, it just ended up being, you know, that. It was just that. Alright, might as well hit the... Okay, Curse Broom is just kind of complete trash this time around. And yeah, it was worth a bomb, but... I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. And now I learn I could have gotten in there without taking damage. Man. Alright, so the strength card might very well be useful. I mean, it's usually useful, but... Oh, now I can open this. Cherry. Okay, so every time... I... You know what? Let's just use it here. When you've, got so... when you've got so many resources at hand, it helps to use some of them. Thank you. Yes, I will buy a key. No, sir. I will not allow such I will not allow such things to happen on my watch. You're just gonna charge me and expect me to sit still? What a strange creature! Oh, hold on. Now we've got ourselves a charm worth talking about. So all petrified poop does is make it so that whenever you burst a poop pile there's a much better chance of there being something inside of it. So, now we can start, you know, hunting for things. One of the most interesting combinations in the game, as far as collecting items is concerned, is actually the petrified poop, along with the uh, card against humanity. If you don't know why that's such a beautiful combination, tr just trust me. I'm gonna save the monster manual charge. There's a good chance that it might be more useful in the devil deal room if they make me fight Krampus. I 
There we go. Me and my shadow. Okay, so we're gonna try to get to the get to Mega Satan the traditional way. And there's one way to try to. Hmm. If nothing else, it's five more bombs. And that is certainly not a bad value. We went from having no bombs to having an ass load of bombs. <laughs> Get it? Because they're butt bombs? Oh! I know, that was awful. Flies, get out of here. So, by the way, even though I only have red hearts right now, I can still preserve special room chances because bone hearts technically count as non red hearts for purposes of devil deals and taking hits. The reason why it's different for the. I was about to say the lost. Mr. Skellington is because. What am I doing? I am just being a complete idiot right now. The reason why it counts differently for the Forgotten is because he only has Bone Hearts, so if he takes damage while a Bone Heart is filled, then A, hey, no harm, no foul. But if he loses a Bone Heart, that's when he loses his Devil Deal chance, so it's just... Well, just a little bit of a difference, and why am I having trouble hitting something whose movement is completely predictable? Why would you offer me that? You people are awful. So I'm not in danger of losing Devil Deal yet, but... One more hit and then I'll be in then I'll be in caution state. One more hit after that, and we'll and we'll be at a much worse chance for. Well, I say devil deal, but I actually kind of want to see angel rooms. I'll take that. Thank you. Now, if we do end up getting... Good job, buddy. Now, if we end up getting a, a decent Devil Deal, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna forego Devil Deal. The Devil Deal item, just because I'm trying to get to Mega Satan. I will just try to get to Mega Satan an alternate way. Ugh, of course. Okay, stop. I'd have to start using some combative bombs here, because I am just not feeling it right today. Of course, working on base damage and base fire rates, you know, is also not helping, but... That shouldn't be the end of the world yet. It might be the end of the world on a later floor. Well, I'm totally happy to receive those keys. Remember, we have... I mean, we have petrified poops, so breaking poops is definitely a good idea. And now we're starting... now we're starting to feel a bit more comfortable. Wait, are you serious? Just 
just kind of seriously out of left field that hit me? Okay. Go ahead and destroy your own minions, that's fine by me. Okay, some sort of stat improvement would be nice, preferably tears or damage. I would like for my DPS to improve now. I can't use bombs forever. You suck. Actually, it's more like I suck. <sighs> okay, well, that's not exactly a tier's upgrade, but I mean, it upgrades just about everything else. Alright, not gonna complain about that, especially since it came with three soul hearts and an inability to not get hit by things. Alright, so now if we find piercing shots, then we will be completely good. But as is, I still say this run is pretty much settled. Godhead by itself is definitely a strong carry. It usually doesn't do the job by itself, but I'll be, da I'll be damned if I'm not saying that this run is, seen a, is now seeing a definite improvement. Homing shot, homing shots plus the aura. Yeah, no, that's that's beautiful. Now I just need to get my dodging game back on point, and we're good to go. Let's actually not go in there just yet. Let's get rid of the other void portal. There we go. Alright, this makes a big difference. And now if I absolutely have to, I feel pretty comfortable doing the sacrifice room. But I'm hoping I don't have to. At this point, other things should probably be working out. Lame. And I would rather not take Godhead, or not Godhead, but in Chaos, as I don't want the chance of shuffling away a devil and devil or angel rooms. Ooh, holy light even. Alright, yeah, this is definitely a good run. Now at this point I would like to, I would like to see fire rate and luck improvements but as and just as is I feel we're maybe not set but we're good to go for a while Don't forget to break the poops I see you down there, bomber boy. I'm just not sure I want to sacrifice that much health. Sorry. Maybe if I get flying out of this room. Ow. Alright, that was my own fault. Kaboom. I mean, it's a luck upgrade, so I guess I can't be too upset. Do I go back for the sacrifice room? Or not the sacrifice room, the... My brain isn't working today! Don't... 
Don't judge, it's still, I'm still, still within half an hour of waking up. I just didn't want to go that many days without, without recording some Isaac content. Alright, thanks for the pills, guys. That was, that was wonderful. Aha! Hold on. I think we just found ourselves a secret room. I wasn't paying attention to it earlier, but oh wow. What a room. Okay, so it wasn't that good of a room. Okay, that was not cool. That's why I should just stop taking pills. I mean, you don't think it's sound advice until you get things like that happening to you, and then you go, oh yeah, maybe that's why people do them. Maybe that's why some players don't take pills at all. Okay. Now, I don't have the ability to fly, otherwise I'd be all over that. Blue Flames, on the other hand. Give me Soul Hearts, thank you. That was a terrible dodge. Where'd you learn to dodge from the Prometheus school of running away from things? <laughs> you know, sometimes it works. Enough of the wall masters. Those aren't wall masters, those are mom's hands. Yeah, whatever, they're wall masters. Well, it's a small tier rate improvement, but I'm not gonna turn it down either. Plus, if I get further fire rate improvements, it will actually break the tiers cap. Not this time. You can't continue to burn me and expect me to be alright with this. Alright, so... Could be here. Well, no need to keep searching. Haven't found the shop yet, though. And that is important, because on top of having money to spend on the shop, I also am hoping... Well, not hoping to, but I'd like to... Uh, and blast the shopkeeper and improve our special room chances. There we go. And now we can even afford a premium item. Perfect. Ah, I hate those cross shaped turrets. Nothing great here. We'll just move on. Having a bit of a follower meta, it seems. Oh my god, I hate Mask of Infamy so much. Oh my god, no, go away. Stop. Oh my god, Mask of Infamy, you're the worst. Ace of Hearts. Certainly not going to be upset about a little extra protection. Alright, so we now have our we now have our Mega Satan key. And I guess it's a little early to say that for certain, but I doubt I'm going to run into this much trouble with this guy. 
You've got better attack patterns and more health than Uriel, but simultaneously I don't feel that threatened right now. Alright, on we go. And Curse of the Blind, just to make everybody sick. Once again, let's search for soul hearts. Oh well. Hey guys, would you say that these are some shitty enemies we're running into? <laughs> I'll see myself out. Boy, he's just full of bad puns today. What's going on? Oh, you know, sometimes you just have to appreciate humor in all forms. Which sometimes occasionally includes some terrible puns. Oh, okay. Champion Mega Fatty. Perfect. Yeah, it's not, you know, just awful at all. Okay, this room sucks. Who designed this room, Edmund? Why would you put just a random mega fatty in, in with a bunch of other fatties and stone fatties and just make a room that's entirely punishing to the player for no reason, Edmund? What were you hoping to accomplish by creating this room, Edmund? Yeah, this room is unnecessarily punishing to the player. I don't like this room at all. As far as I'm concerned, that room can go die in a fire never to be seen again. You could still really use either piercing shots or a fire, fire rate upgrade. More base damage would be nice to work with. Basically, I'd like a boss item that isn't just another health pickup. Otherwise, this is going to end up being a very dangerous Mega Satan fight. And don't get me wrong, I've got really good items, but at the same time, it's hard to, main hard to maintain this level of ferocity if, I'm only if I have a fire rate of 12. Also, why is every room awful? Just every single room has just been a garbage fire. Alright, well at least it's not a greed fight. Cheap item? I don't really want to gamble 24-7. Go away. Another cheap item. Mom's key. Alright, that's not bad. Dare I say it's probably one of the better things I could have gotten in here. Especially considering that I'm going in that I'm going in rather blind. There, a few more, a few soul hearts actually makes me feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit less like I'm just being, being fed hope only to have it stripped away from me.
Not bad. Got a lot of different types of heart on my on my plate now. But we still have to find the item room before we move on. And yes, it's kind of rare for a run to be this strong and still and still take over half an hour to get done with the with the pre womb floors. Okay. Hey player, you like having good base stats? You like you like having a good number of powerful shots on screen at any given time? Well, how about we don't give you any of that? And again, this is this is more or less nitpicking, considering that I do have Holy Light and Godhead, but at the same time, it does feel like the game is trying to limit me in a way. Yeah, we know that first item room was really good. Let's reverse that decision. But you don't have to reverse that decision. You could just let me be strong, <laughs> but that wouldn't be fun for us. I see you there, Tinted Rock. One step at a time, though. I'm gonna try to avoid that mulligan. How did that hit me? And at this point, I'm nitpicking, but... Seriously, I kind of get the feeling that that just hit me just for no reason. Forgot that I had scatter bombs there for a moment. God, don't scare me like that. So when I was saying earlier that Godhead usually doesn't carry by itself, this is kind of what I meant. Because this is... It is a very good item, but on its own, it's... I'm not going to say not good, because that's obviously not the case. But it does leave a little bit to be desired. In order for it to be truly great, you need either slightly better fire rate or piercing shots. Neither of which, neither of which I seem to have found, by the way. the game pretty much went, oh, you, oh, you want more health, okay. Me, no, I, what I really need is a better, is a better fire rate and maybe just a little bit more base damage, just something, uh, something to, um, I have good items, now what I need is a good foundation to work them on. Then Isaac takes that into account, run him, run, runs it through all the data and then goes, Oh, you wanted more health! Yeah, not this room. I get nothing by completing this room, so I'm out. I'm pretty sure I know where the secret room is. Now, what I need is damage, fire rate, or even luck for more for more holy light shots. Uh, no. God, I keep forgetting I have scatter bombs. It's so annoying. You get blasted. Alright, well I can't just bomb my way into the boss room, so here's to completing another super annoying room. 
not nearly as annoying as some of the rooms that came before it, and I still question what was up with that mega fatty room. Sorry, that room actually actively made me mad. That room has no reason to exist. This boss has no reason to exist. No, the hell with you, Matriarch. You are the worst. And Monster Manual gave me complete toss this time. Alright, so far so good. You know, I normally don't have a huge problem with the Matriarch, but my goodness. Actually, that's not true. I really kind of hate the Matriarch. Seventy-two percent chance, nothing. And that's not the stat I was looking for! Hey Isaac, I could use some better base stats to work with here. I kinda need a better foundation. Range? No, fuck off. Oh, we know what'll help. Enemies that drop creep that's nearly invisible on a red background. At this point, I have no choice but to assume that the game is just actively taking the piss out of me. Really? Didn't even notice it was Curse of the Damn Maze. <laughs> Can you be bothered to give me a friggin' luck upgrade? One would think, if nothing else, you'd be okay giving me a freaking luck upgrade, but... Wow! Isaac is being real stingy today. I'm not even sure I want speed. Then again, right now, it'd be real dangerous to gamble on that. You know, you're doing a lot of complaining, but you have that strength card that you could you could have used at any time to make any of these previous problems more a bit more negligible. Yeah, but you see, the reason why I'm saving the strength card is because there's a little something known as Mega Satan coming up, and I'd like I'd like that to be more manageable, especially if I'm going into it with essentially the equivalent of okay six HP now. Yeah, I definitely blame myself for some of the problems I'm having, but some of them is some of these some of these issues that I'm having are kind of game design related. And I'll be damned if I'm not going to call Edmund out on it. Yes, I know I could have gotten there a different way, but oh god. Scatter bombs, why? You have to do the thing that I don't want. The leech enemies are the worst.
Can't say I'm a big fan of these lump enemies either. Alright, give me the Empress. take a shot in the dark and say this is our super secret room? Nope. Okay. And yes, I do see the tinted rock in here. Could have at least given me two soul hearts. What? that to me. We're just going to use this one. Alright, baby. Something good. Hey, that works. Ugh. That didn't work. Or rather, it didn't work out. I should say it worked fine, but just didn't. It didn't really give me what I was looking for. Oh my! Oh, thank you, Infamy. Thank you. Ah, that is why I hate these lump enemies, because they are amongst the enemies that can just pop up and telefrag you just kind of whenever the fuck they feel like it. You see, that's part of the reason why I wanted better base damage, because it also increases the size of the aura around the Godhead tiers. Man, get Chubb out of here. I don't need that. Alright, so we've got some, we've definitely got some decent defenses, I'll say that much. Having both angelic orbitals is not a bad thing. Going back for my strength card. So it's not impossible for shots to sneak through my shields, but it is hard, especially considering that they are moving faster than usual thanks to Guardian Angel. Okay, can we stop with the curses now? Hey, every floor has been cursed in some way or another. Can we just stop with that now? Also, maybe these enemies can go away and never be seen again. I hate these damn Star Tropics ghosts. And a couple of blue fires. That'll help. Despite what some people say, I do very much enjoy fear shots. Okay, the reason why I'm still collecting coins is on the off chance that I get money as power. Or money equals power, I suppose, is the more appropriate way of saying it. As there is very much and very much the opportunity that we will that we'll get that will super boost our damage according to the number of coins that we're carrying. So that could always be a thing.
Now, the odds on that are not great, but it could definitely be something that pulls us out of a jail. Oh, oh, okay, so I say I don't like these ghosts, so they give me the even more annoying and, da and dangerous version. Alright, perfect. I think you said you didn't like the Star Tropics ghosts. Hmm. Well, what if we make them red and have them shoot brimstone lasers? Think, yep, that'll solve the problem. Yep, that, yep, that's it. That all the dead ends, all of them. Just feed them all, feed them all to me. Stuff them into my face. Mm. It's like chocolate cake. We heard you. We heard that you don't like the ghosts and you and you don't like the leeches. How about we put them all in one room for you? That's right. We're exercising our rights. Fuck you, buddy. Yes, that's right, player. How would you like to have a room full of the worst enemies ever devised by man? You said you didn't want that? Well, that's ridiculous. Because you don't have a choice. Thank you, Swarm Protector. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Eyeball, buddy. You are you are a pal while you last. Over here. All right. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's actually a nice damage upgrade. So is that, to an extent. Alright, so let's do a few rooms, try to... Try to get that there monster manual back, back up to par. Oh. Hey you, drop a heart. I could use it right about now. I mean, okay, that works. Not what I meant, but you know what, I'll take it. Just a few more rooms, see if we can't get any any more bonus items before going to fight Mega Stanley. Okay, maybe just one more item. Oh, you suck so much.
Alright, I get the feeling this isn't going to work out, so let's not push our luck. Let's just go ahead and take on the big man. Wait, what did I get? No, seriously, what did Monster Manual do? I'm confused. What did, what did I get out of that? Actually, no, I want to take you out first. Is there something out there that counts as a familiar that just doesn't really show up? I'm confused. What did I get? Well, you know what? Don't have time to worry about that right now. I've got seven deadly sins to slay. Oh my god, I hate you, Super Fry. Super Fry! This man just used Mega Troll Bombs as shields. Um, hey. Hey now. Hey now. Oh, my man, Sworn Protector, stepping in with the Eternal Heart. Yeah, that may elevate my... Uh, elevate my opinion of Sworn Protector, seriously. This, this man... Whew. Okay, I am absolutely loving the angelic orbitals here. Oh, I accidentally dropped a bomb. I was afraid I was going to do something like that. Alright, Swarm Protector plus Infamy making all the big plays. Alright, my man Laz now has a completed post-it note, and, you know, maybe I was a little bit too harsh on the game. That was a fine run. It was more so just the idea that I'm playing while sleepy, and that is creating some of my problems, so now I think it's time to go get breakfast. Maybe I should have done that before I started playing, but hey, good Mega Satan fight, good run. And you, you know it's not going to go bad when you start with Godhead, so thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel. I put out more content all the time, and I will be back with some more stuff in the near future. Until then, my name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.